Number four, even though he, as in number one, was a subject of investigation and had been pronounced by the central bank as a person engaged in illegal business, the state looked on while number one sponsored Ghana's football league without any objections. Yes, they will say that, oh, the GFA is a private body. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to Ghana football, it is not a private affair. And that is why the state always has a stake in the sponsorship of Ghana's football. So at least our government, our president, government officials who we pay with our taxpayers' money, with our you know, taxes, sorry, to protect us from crime, should have at least raised objections with the sponsorship of Ghana's Football League by Nam One, knowing very well that he was a subject of investigations by Central Bank. However, that did not happen. And so that enhanced the visibility and legitimacy of Nam One and his businesses.